Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Sunday School with the Apostolic Faith Church here in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Sister Melissa, and I'm going to be your teacher today. I am so excited that you joined us. First, I'd like to say thank you for coming. Well, let's start with prayer, and then we'll get right into our lesson. Think of that special person that you want to pray for. Did you think of who it is? Did you say their name out loud or share it with your loved ones or your guardian or parent or cousins or whoever's watching with you right now? Share that person's name with them. Or maybe it's just a situation you want to pray about. Go ahead and share that prayer request. And guess what? God hears your request. Let's look to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We thank you, Lord, for watching over us and bringing us together so that we might study your word one more time, that we might learn from your word and be able to live a life that is pleasing to you, that we might obey the people that you have put in charge over us, our parents and our grandparents and our guardians, and that we might do what is right in your sight and not sin against you. We have a special prayer today for those amongst us who are sick. We pray for them, Lord. We ask for healing. We pray for our pastor and Sister Smith. We ask that you continue to bless them and bless their family. We also pray for our church family, Lord. We ask that you will continue to bless each and every one of us. And we thank you, Lord, for the vaccine that you've given us, that we can come together again without our mask on. And we are so excited. Now, us young ones, we have to still wear our masks, but Lord, we are grateful because we know that the time will come where we won't have to wear a mask anymore. And we are thanking you for that opportunity. We are thanking you and praising you for all that you've done for us. In Jesus' name. You know, boys and girls, it's really good to be grateful to God for what he's done. And in today's lesson, that's what we're going to be talking about, being grateful to God and thanking him. Now, I have a couple of questions for you. So here's my question. If I were to bring you a piece of pound cake or maybe a banana or even a red juicy apple, or how about a coconut? What would you say to me? That's right. If you said thank you, that is what you would do. And that's what our story is going to be about today. Our story is about being grateful. Being grateful for the, the things that God has done for us. How he blessed us. Today's lesson is coming out of Luke. Chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. Yep, you guys know I can't see without these glasses, so I need the glasses. But let's move on with our lesson. So, like I said, you would be thankful and grateful if I gave you something or if I did something that made you feel better. You know, kind of like when you're sick and your parents help you and they bring you soup and they give you water or when you have a tummy ache and they give you something so that your tummy doesn't hurt, those times you're grateful and you say thank you to your parents or loved ones that are helping. Well, in today's story, we're going to talk about when Jesus and his disciples were walking in Jerusalem. So they were walking along in Jerusalem and there were some lepers. And you're probably like, Sister Z, what are lepers? Well, I'm going to tell you what lepers are. Lepers were people who had a disease. The disease would show up on their skin. And their skin would kind of be bumpy or it could have a rash or itchy. And it was a really bad disease. And sometimes it would cause them to uh, have real serious problems. And when people had leprosy, they would tell them, that they were unclean. And the rules stated that if you had leprosy and you were unclean, you had to stay far away. 
go. And you would have to stay back and you would yell, unclean, unclean. Well, guess what? Jesus was passing by. And the lepers will all gather together and they would always stay together. All the lepers were together and they couldn't come near anyone. And if they saw people coming near them, they had to yell out, unclean, unclean. Instead of yelling out unclean, the leper said, Jesus, have mercy on us. See, they had heard through the grapevine by word of mouth, or as we call it today, social media, and they had heard how Jesus had healed people. So when they yelled out, Jesus, have mercy on us, guess what Jesus did? He did just that. He told them, go to the priest and show yourself. As they began to go to the priest to show themselves, they were healed. There was no more leprosy. And guess how many people it was? It was 10. He healed all 10 of them. And they walked and they started going to show themselves to the priest. But there was one person who turned around and he ran and he began to worship God. And he bowed down before him and was so grateful and thankful that he had been healed. You know what Jesus said? He said, there were 10 of you, but only one returned. What happened to the other nine? Now, everybody was healed, but Jesus let this man know that he was more than just healed. He was whole. He was made complete. Well, boys and girls, what I want you to understand from this story, that you have to be grateful. You have to be grateful to Jesus. Can you think of some things that you should be grateful to Jesus for? Why don't you pause the video and talk to your parents about things that you're not only grateful to Jesus for, but also you're grateful to them. That you just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for food on my table. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that you blessed me with. Thank you, Lord, for health. Thank you, Lord, for a vaccine. All the things you can thank God for. Today's memory verse comes from Luke 17 and 15. And I want you to keep this verse in mind all week. And I'm going to give you a challenge at the end. It's from Luke 17, verse number 15. And it said, one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back. And with a loud voice, he glorified God. He turned back and with a loud voice, he glorified God. So this is the challenge that I want you to do this week. I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to draw a heart. And on that heart, every time you're grateful, I want you to put a little mark on that heart to identify another time that you were grateful and that you were thankful for something that either someone did for you or something that Jesus did for you. Well, boys and girls, that's the end of our lesson. And remember all week to be grateful and remember to thank God for all that he's done. Let's close out in prayer. And then you know what question I'm going to be asking you. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this lesson. We thank you for the one leopard that went back, that glorified you for healing. We thank you, Lord, for opportunity to understand that we are to be grateful and thankful for all that you've done. We will thank you and praise you and glorify you, Lord, because you are our God and you watch over us. You kept us safe through an entire pandemic, Lord. And those of us who did end up with COVID, you blessed us to be healed, to be whole, to be free. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. And there are some people out there that are very special that have reached out to me. And I just want to say, hi, Jaden, <laughs> because I know that you're watching. And I'm so glad that you enjoy the Sunday school lessons. And thanks for letting me know that.
thank your grandmother, your parents, thank whoever is taking care of you for doing such a wonderful job. Have you started to have a conversation with your family about being baptized? If you have, you know you can call the church and a minister or a minister helper will help you with that decision and take you further along in the discussion about being baptized. Or let's say you just want prayer. You can call the church at 773-373-8500. That's Apostolic Faith Church at 773-373-8500. Well, goodbye and have a wonderful weekend. I hope that you enjoy your 4th of July. And please be safe, be wise, and be grateful. Bye-bye.